Today we're gonna take a look at some of the newest Blender add-ons. This includes tools for rigging, dynamics, texturing, image upscaling, productivity tools, and many other features that will come with these add-ons. So, we're gonna kick off this week's list with a new add-on called AI Render. A new Blender add-on that will allow you to create some cool renders with the help of your scene and any text prompt you enter. This add-on renders AI-generated images, and you can easily create amazing AI-generated images with stable diffusion thanks to it without having to run any code on your personal computer. And as the developer stated, it will have many new features in the next updates such as animation, rendering, upscaling, and features to auto-save images. Talking about simulations and crowd animations, we have Horde which is a recent add-on that works with Blender. It will help filmmakers and 3D artists to add customizable craft systems to their scenes within a short period of time. It has many assets full of various human crowds, ranging from casual and professional humans to bear and clothed zombies. The interesting thing is that the crowds are fully controllable. With its intuitive UI, you have the ability to add crowds to your 3D live action scenes with just four steps. First, you will select the genre of crowds and then you can proceed and choose the animation and the system types. Finally, you will finish with adding or join your crowd into the scene. This is a very interesting add-on and I highly recommend giving it a shot. We also have a new add-on from Mark Kings North, which is a Blender add-on called Starship Generator. It will allow you to randomly add sci-fi ships to your scenes or projects inside Blender which you can either use in concept art or in game development to create backgrounds of 3D models in addition to animations and games. You can simply add the Starship model to your scene from the Add menu to create different designs by changing a single scene number. You can also change the material on your ship. Due to its speed and ease of use, this add-on can be a huge help for concept artists and game developers. Next up, we have this interesting add-on called Instant Imposters. With it, you can instantly turn any mesh into an optimized low-poly imposter using instant imposters, which greatly improves performance in large-scale scenes. The imposters display a detailed presentation of the original mesh using advanced shader-based rendering, and they further replicate the detail of the original object by using 3D parallax, in addition to self-shadowing and translucency. It will be generated with just one click and it has real-time viewport performance. And this add-on is compatible only with Blender 3.0 and up and it only works with Eevee. Now, talking about modeling, Rotate Edge Loop is a Blender add-on that will allow you to do exactly what its name suggests. And that is selecting and rotating edge loops and also sliding them along the normal edges without actually distorting the shape. It also has a feature of randomizing noise offset with different noise types, although non-planar edge loops are not yet supported. The experimental non-flat offset option may occasionally be useful, and the downside is that you can only modify one edge loop at a time, but the developer is planning to add more in the future. Let us now proceed with this add-on that many will probably find useful. It is called Ivy Pan, a geometry node-based add-on for Blender, and it is used to generate, add, and customize Ivy in a user-friendly way. The way to use it is very easy and simple, and to make an IV, you will need to click Create IV after selecting the object to which you want to add it to, and Blender will automatically enter the edit mode, and then you can draw it with the pen tool. It has a bunch of features to help you customize it in the way you want, such as density branches and leaves, extension branches, and many more. And you will also be able to select any IV leaf collection that you want. Moving on, we have Quick Snap. By selecting the source and destination points, the Quick Snap Blender add-on enables you to quickly snap objects, vertices, and points. It has a pie menu where you can select the type of point you want to snap to or from. It is really easy to use and performs really easily with low-poly models, but not exactly with high-poly ones. You can snap from and add a scene cursor to the object origins. Furthermore, between vertices and curve points, in addition to edges, midpoints, as well as face centers. It has many wonderful and useful features, such as snapping onto visible and non-visible points. Additionally, it can highlight target vertex edges, and you can do a lot more with it as you experiment. Now, let's move to an add-on called Assets Wizard Pro. It is a powerful tool that will help you export and manage all your assets directly from your Blender file into the library that you need to load into. You will be able to preview them since the add-on automatically creates beautiful image previews from each model. 
It has many wonderful features such as choosing what you want to export, either a collection, object, or materials. In addition to node groups, it gives you the option to select which texture you want to pack and you can do this with a single click. And you can update previews in your existing libraries. Now, talking about sci-fi stuff, this new add-on can be useful when you want to make sci-fi elements. It will even help you with creating motion graphics. Element X has no limitations and doesn't stop you when it comes to what element you want to create with it. And basically, it can make a lot of sci-fi stuff that you can think of. Additionally, using it is easy and simple. It comes with four panels of elements, including presets, materials, animations, and finally the help panel. It has also many useful and unique features such as more than 21 elements with settings for each one, in addition to an animation maker, a material editor, and many more. The most important thing is that it uses procedural geometry nodes so it is fully customizable. Next we have Blendtune, which is an interesting add-on. It is a simple tool for producing cartoon renders for comics or animations. The add-on has a cartoon material library that will enable you to quickly produce cartoon animations and renders and you can do this for your Blender projects or comic scenes. It will also assist you if you are trying to produce high quality animations. Additionally, it is very easy and fun to work with. Now, talking about animation, we have this Blender add-on called Action Blocks. With the help of Action Blocks, you can build complex actions out of simpler ones in animation. With the use of root motion, repeats, or layer animations, it is possible to create sequences that can reuse actions like walking loops, and you can use animation and mocap libraries like Mixamo on your own action assets to quickly create variations and block out animations, in addition to game cinematics, background assets, instructional videos, and animatics. Now moving on to the next add-on called Fractal Machine, created by Bad Normals. Fractals can transform a straightforward scene into a nuanced, ethereal, and never-before-seen environment because each one is unique and different. This add-on helps you create various fractals, from Apollyon to Kalinian to Mendelbox and Mendelbulb, in addition to Quantorian for the Julia fractal. Additionally, it has 20 presets that will allow for quick experimentation and generating virtual limitless variety of shapes, which is just insane. This add-on is compatible for now with Blender 3.3 and up, but in order to use it comfortably, you kinda need a powerful machine. Now, talking about modeling and architectural visualization, we have an add-on called Profiler. This add-on is used in Blender for mainly architectural visualization. It has a very simple UI and it is very easy to use. It will basically improve the workflow for any artist and it can do this massively since it can use beautifully shaped profiles using its tools and features in a short period of time. It also gives you a wide range of customization options, because you can customize more than 70 unique profiles you can receive with this add-on. And you will find options ranging from a gamepad for profile origin alignment and profile dimensions, in addition to rotation, to offset, to shading options, in addition to other stuff of course. We all know that Blender is not great when it comes to selecting edge loops. But with the help of this add-on called QOL Tools, you'll be able to completely forget about this problem because it provides a very good and effective solution, which is by continuing the loop selection as you will expect it to be, rather than getting stuck. It is very easy to use and you can make the selection that you want with a single click, which is what we expect it to do. If you found these add-ons useful, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video informative, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos similar to this one. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.